everyone. Welcome back to Ebony with Genghis. Why are we looking at Monarch Gear in the daily pack? Because we're going to be talking about Monarch Gear in the video, and this is the best place to get the new marching Monarch Gear. It is very strong compared to the old Monarch Gear, and get 25% or more discounts on all of your purchases using Aptoid, using the promo code Genghis. All the information of how to do it is in the description of the video. You need any other questions, just drop me a line, ask in the comments, email me, Discord, I will answer and hook you up. Anyways, let's get to it. So Monarch Gear has changed in the past, I guess, year, right? About that, a little bit less. They added marching gear. So some people have been asking me, hey, uh, what do we do for Monarch Gear? And basically the PvP stuff. First, I'm just gonna show you how to save it, the very basics of how to save gear. And then we'll get into when you should use all of these, because there's a lot. Uh, previously, there was only five. There was only these ones up until a year ago. And then they added, what's that, seven more? So, and you know, to be honest, not all of them are worth using almost ever. So we'll go through which ones are worth you using and which ones kind of aren't and what scenarios you'd use it in. So first things first, you need presets for Monarch gear or it's just gonna take too long to save them. So I have a few here. I have mounted, I have ground, I have siege, I have archers, I have defense. Let's look at that one. So for defense, I use uh, mount, HP, mount defense, and siege attack. But I also have an Ares layout, which has all Ares, and note, I do not have the marching one on. So if I went to here, Ares, that doesn't work on defense. So I will use this on defense, like if I'm rallying, setting rallies, and people are attacking me, and I'm standing and taking it, I'll just leave this on. But then if I have a chance, I'll switch to defense. So. First, let's change this. Let's change the setting to save. So what I wanna do is, let's actually see if I remember this. So we went to, so what I have to do is change the gear, right? So just to prove this to you, first I'm gonna to go to mount. You can see my mount. Now I'm gonna go back to my Aries, and you can see this is the regular Aries staff. Now I'm going to equip the marching Aries dagger. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click edit. Oops, that's not what I want. I'm gonna go down to click Aries. Then I'm gonna click edit. Now I'm gonna hit save and it should be saved. It's as simple as that. So I went into mount and now I'm gonna go back to Aries. And if, it, if I did it correctly, it should now show a marching Aries gear for the staff, and it does. So I don't want that, so I'm going to actually change it back and go down to Aries here and edit and save. So now, let's go over what you should have. I'm just gonna sit in my mounted here. This is my base one that I have all the time. And for the uh, debuff gear, I, I'll, I should compose this, it's just I recently, upgraded there and I just didn't bother to do it. But anyways, there we go. So it's now a level eight, confirm. So for debuff, you wanna debuff the troop that's gonna hurt your gear, right? So for me, mounted is going into attack. Archers are gonna hurt them the most, so I wanna debuff archers, pretty simple. For ground, uh, I actually have it on Ares and that's only because I did not have any mounted until recently. So I had none of these and I, I just recently got some. So I should actually be changing that and putting that to debuff mounted. So uh, I will save it. Let's, uh, so mount, edit, save. And it's now there, oops. And see, I messed up. I accidentally hit, uh, oh wait, I had ground there. I oh no, I accidentally saved over my mounted. See how easy it is to make a mistake on this stuff? But it, luckily, it's pretty easy to correct. I hate this stuff. So now, let's actually compare, now that I'm going into it. This is a good uh, lead into it. So what should I actually put in here? I'm making a new mounted one, and regular mounted is 71% for me at level 10. Marching mounted, 
is 86%. 86% versus 71? Seems pretty simple, right? But there is the whole number, flat number at the bottom here, plus 200. But since I'm mostly going to be using this on monsters and I use the highest tier that I have available, I won't be using those whole numbers. So I'm going to go with the marching one. And it's going to be this, these ones are going to be easier cuz they're newer. The they came out later, the HP and defense new marching uh, gear. So it's going to be lower, I'm going to assume. So this one's 59 and this one's 71. So pretty easy to make a choice there. And it's going to be the exact same thing over here. Now let's actually, so I have to go archers here. And now let's actually make it so that it will save. So mounted, edit, save. There we go. Okay, so when would I use these? Let's just go through these all. So for these ones, like let's say I'm on defense and I've lost all my troops. I don't have many left. I really only have ground left. I'm gonna put ground on, but I'm gonna make sure that I use the old school ones because they will have the plus 100 and that's gonna help my low level troops. But if it wasn't that case and I was using this to attack, I would be using the marching ground attack because most of my march is going to be high level troops. So it's up to you to decide what's in your uh, arsenal of troops and if you're using this for offense or defense. So first things first, marching does not work on defense. It does work reinforcing. It does work in a building. It basically works anytime your troops leave your city, but it doesn't work on defense. So uh, I'm going to go into my defensive setting here just so that we can get a good example here. And basically, uh, let's look at all the newer ones because I think that's pretty simple, pretty straightforward, right? So all of these ones would be best on defense, the first five, because they add the plus, right? Except for the Aries, actually, but Aries will spread it out over them all. And then you get into the marching ones, and this is when troops are leaving your city. So when would you use them? Ground, pretty simple. When you're sending a ground attack, right? You want ground marching on. Unless your ground regular old school staff is stronger, then you're going to put that on. But if you but if all things are equal, you're going to go with the marching because it's going to be a little bit higher. Archers, you would use this if you are attacking a target that has, has horses. Pretty simple. Mounted, same idea, right? Siege, exact same idea. This is all so simple. Whoa, wait a minute, what are these ones? These final three that Ebony added and they're mixed combos. So this one, Aries, as I said, uh, I would leave that on if you are doing tons of attacks really quickly. So for example, I go to Aries and at the start of the battle, I will go right, right here. I just assume nobody's going to be attacking me for a bit. I'm 30 billion. They're probably going to find easier targets. If they are, if I notice they're actually setting on me a lot, I'm just going to switch over to the regular Aries and keep setting on them. Now, these new ones, when are they useful? So attacking siege and range, attacking mount and ground. Ah, to be honest, I don't really think that they have much of a purpose. I think you're better off just going with Aries and sitting in it. However, I have used it a little bit, and I'll tell you when. So attacking siege and range. At the start of our battle, basically I'm gonna send siege and range, my first two attacks. I tell the guys all the time, get ready for siege and range really quick. So I put this on for like my first two or three attacks, cause I might do like back to back arch, something like that. And then I switch off and I go right back to Ares. And I just start doing attacks. But, however, this one is mounted and ground. And usually when you're rallying a big opponent, you would go in order. Siege, range, mount, ground. So if you do have time, or if you're really fast, you can switch for the last two attacks. Like if you notice your alliance is starting to send a lot of horse or a lot of ground, feel free to switch to that. But for the most part, you're j it's just going to be easier to stay in Aries. I recommend for Battlefield, Ares all the time. Defense if you know you're getting attacked. 
So switch to your defense gear, have that preset ready. And then these other ones, I really only change to them in like a uh, select scenarios. For example, if someone says, hey, there's a, uh, there's a horse target over there, like someone who would be good to hit with horses, I'll put on my horses and I'll just send. I'll put on my mounted gear. Or if I see someone at a portal and they're kind of smaller and I wanna sneak up and hit them, I'll port just off screen, I'll throw on ground or range, and then I'll hit them. But unless it's individual attacks, you're really just gonna be better off in Ares or your defensive gear and just sitting there and playing the type of game you play. So I hope this uh, helps you out. Uh, the only other thing here is the horns. This one, Warhorn, this is, uh, it really helps, actually. I have March size capacity on in Battlefield. I used to, when I was smaller, use March speed all the time because I wasn't the rally setter and I wanted to have a bit more of an advantage trying to get into the rallies quicker. In All-Stars, sometimes I have put it on also just to save me, you know, one or two March speeds every time you're trying to join a rally. Troop load, you know, uh... Most servers are nap now. You don't really need it that often. But if you're on a, a bubble or burn server, you could put that on and loot your family members quicker. And then this one, March Speed to Monsters. Uh, this works going to a monster and coming home. So when you're just in rally mode killing monsters all day, switch to that one, which is what I'm going to be doing uh right now so anyways let me know in the comments if you have any other questions about it all of these are the same right so if you're gonna if you if it's beneficial at a time for you to be in marching ground gear for staff it's gonna be beneficial for you to be in the same gear for hp or defense provided the stats are the same if they're not then go with the higher level the only other thing that i would add is if you let's pretend i lost all my troops or siege is the one that i have the most of i will switch to siege gear and i will switch right here and just sit on defense and let people attack me with siege gear on uh because these ones will help the lower levels as well because they do have the flat numbers. But anyways, let me know if you do anything different in uh, your Monarch gear. This is Genghis. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.